So I've been having a problem with my one plant out here at the cottage. The leaves have been turning yellow, the pests have been eating the leaves. With growing outdoors, you just never know what's going to happen. Pests, weather, animals, there are just so many variables. So today we're going to talk about pest prevention for outdoor gardens. But first, before we get into the video, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the sponsor of the channel, Mars Hydro. From seed to harvest, they have every stage of your grow covered. Forget to check out you can use my promo code taproots growing and save yourself a little bit of money off your order all right let's get into the video tip number one juice resistant strains right before you even begin your grow you can start to take steps to help you control your pests select strains known for their natural resistance to pests and disease research and choose varieties that will thrive in your local environment and that are less susceptible to common issues tip number two companion planting plant companion plants such as marigolds basil and lavender around your plants these plants can repel pests and attract beneficial insects that prey on pests. Tip number three, regular inspections. Frequently inspect your plants for signs of infestations. Look for chewed leaves, discolored spots, or actual insects. Early detection is crucial for effective control. Tip number four, neem oil sprays. Use neem oil as a natural pesticide. It disrupts the cycle of pests and can help prevent infestations. Apply it as a foliar spray, making sure to cover the underneath of the leaves. Tip number five, beneficial insects. Introduce beneficial insects such as ladybugs, predator mites, and lacewings to help protect your garden. These natural predators help control pest populations. Tip number six, diatomaceous earth. Sprinkle diatomaceous earth around the base of your plants. This natural powder damages exoskeletons of the insects, deterring them from your garden. Tip number seven, garden hygiene. Keep your garden clean and free of debris. Remove leaves and fallen plant matter which can harbor pests and diseases. Tip number eight, proper watering techniques. Avoid overwatering, which can create a moist environment that attracts pests such as fungus gnats and root aphids. Ensure good drainage and only water when necessary. Tip number nine, organic insecticides. Use organic insecticides such as insecticidal soap or pyrethrin based sprays. These options are less harmful to beneficial insects and the environment. Tip number 10, mulching. Apply a layer of mulch around your plant to retain moisture and repel weeds. Mulch can also help deter soil dwelling pests. Tip number 11, row covers and netting. Use row covers or fine netting to protect your plants from flying insects, such as aphids and whiteflies. Ensure the netting is secured tightly to prevent pests from entering. Tip number 12, soil health. Maintain a healthy soil by adding compost and organic matter. Healthy soil supports robust plant growth, making plants less vulnerable to pest attack. Tip number 13, rotate your crops. Practice crop rotation by changing the location of your plants each season. This this helps disrupt the life cycle of soil-borne pests and diseases. Tip number 14, pruning and training. Prune and train your plants to improve airflow and reduce humidity around foliage. This makes the environment less favorable for pests and disease. Tip number 15, essential oils. Use essential oils such as peppermint, rosemary, and clover as natural propellants. Dilute and spray them around your garden to deter pests. Tip number 16, beneficial fungi. Introduce beneficial fungi, which infects and kills many pests and insects. It can be applied as a soil drench or a foliar spray. Tip number 17, biological controls. Use biological controls agents such as Vicolus thuringiensis for caterpillar control. <laughs> that was a hard word. <laughs> it's a natural bacterium that targets specific pests without harming beneficial insects. Tip number 18, barriers and traps. Set up physical barriers such as copper tape around your plant's bases to deter slugs and snails. Sticky traps can also help capture flying insects. Tip number 19, regular maintenance. Consistently maintain and monitor your garden. Regular weeding, pruning, and cleaning help reduce hiding spots and breeding grounds for pests. And tip number 20, integrated pest management. Implement an IPM approach by combining cultural, biological, and mechanical control methods. This holistic strategy minimizes pest impact while reducing reliance on chemical pesticides. So if you're having pest problems in your garden like me, hopefully some of these tips will help you along the way. I think I need to add a couple more to help me with my pest problem. Thank you for joining me today. Have yourselves a great day. Until next time, peace.